Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. The Association of Muslim Professionals, AMP, has launched the AMP National Talent Search or NTS 2023 for school, junior and senior degree college students. The objective of the competition is to increase and reward the students' general awareness and identify the brightest students to support and nurture. This year, NTS 2023 will be conducted both in the online and offline or physical mode in over 300 centers across India. The online exam facility will be available as it is on the AMP World mobile app. Thus, this year, the AMP NTS 2023 will be in a dual format, allowing the candidates to choose between online and offline participation. I will be doing this session in the format of question and answers for better understanding and clarity. So the first question, who can participate in NTS 2023 and what are the students eligibility criteria to take the exam? So the different categories of students who can sit for the exam. The first category comprises of students currently enrolled in a school and studying in classes 8 through 12 or in an undergraduate course in a degree college for the academic year 2023 to 2024. The second category is of Madarsa students between the ages of 13 to 15. They will appear for NTS based on the age group they fall in. So age 13 will appear with class eight, age 14 with class nine, and age 15 with class 10. The third category is made up of all students between the ages of 13 to 21 who fall in either of the following groups. Diploma students will appear with junior college. For NIOS students, those in the secondary course will take the school paper for class 10 and those in senior secondary will with junior college. For ITI students, those who are 17 years or less will join junior college and the rest senior or degree college. And lastly, three very important points to take note of. Only Indian citizens studying in India are eligible. All ages are as of July 31, 2023. And all winning students will have to provide documentary evidence of eligibility. Now, we come to question number two. What are the categories and language available languages available for the exam? The competition will be held in three categories. First is senior or degree college, that is undergraduate students. Second is junior or intermediate colleges, that is 11th and 12th standard students. And third is schools, that is 8th, 9th and 10th standard students. For languages, school students of 8th, 9th and 10th standard will have separate question papers and these will be available in three languages, English, Hindi and Urdu. Junior, intermediate and senior degree college question papers will be in English only. That brings us to the third query. Will the syllabus for all three exams be the same? The syllabus will essentially reflect the syllabus of the standard exams that students may take as they move forward. For example, college students might later on want to appear for UPSC and go into civil services. Tech students might want to appear for GATE, medical students for NEET, PG or INI CE8, management students might want to take CAT, those who plan to study abroad might want to appear for GRE and other competitive exams like CUET and others. All these exams have a general theme. They all test the aptitudes of the students and typically cover five topics. Therefore, the syllabus for colleges, both junior and senior degrees, will consist of those same five areas. 
And what are they? Quantitative analysis, number one. Number two, data interpretation and logical reasoning. Number three, vocabulary and reading comprehension. Number four, current affairs. And number five, general knowledge. Here, the students of junior college, that is plus two and intermediate, and those in the first four years of senior and degree college will have different question papers. What about the syllabus for schools? That is classes 8th, 9th, and 10th. They will have two broad categories, MAT and SAT. And what are they? Just as we saw earlier that graduate students might want to appear for competitive exams later on, similarly, students of class 10 can take the NTSE, which is conducted by the central government. Therefore, the syllabus is exactly the same as the NTSE syllabus, and this consists of two parts, the mental aptitude test, MAT, and the scholastic aptitude test, SAT. MAT will measure cognitive abilities, including problem solving, critical thinking, memory, attention, and reasoning skills, as well as general knowledge. And this will not be from the school syllabus. It will test the student's general awareness and abilities. What about SAT? SAT will test them on the following subjects, English, mathematics, science, and social science, and these will be based on the syllabus for the respective classes. This essentially means that math will be common to all classes, whereas SAT will be different. Here I would like to add an important note about the question papers. They are being prepared by a team of eminent academicians drawn from prestigious universities and institutes across India. Now, what is the marking scheme for NTS 2023? Each correct answer will receive one mark and there will be no negative marking for wrong answers. Lastly, will I get any sample test papers for appearing in NTS 2023? The answer is test papers for all categories will be available in the mock papers section of the AMP World Mobile app. And mock papers will be available for both online and offline candidates. And to access them, you can log in with your exam login ID and password. These you will find in the My Registration Detail tab. Now this completes the information that I have for you. You can find this very same and additional information on the AMP World app as well as the website. Thank you and all the best.